Uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, so since we I showed you a, a trick to navigate around the file system back to your home directory in the shortcut, the tilde, let's talk a little bit about absolute and relative paths. So up to now we've been most, mostly using relative paths. That is, uh, I can I can CD demo secret stuff from my home directory. So this is the equivalent of saying, go out the door, turn right, and walk two blocks, and you'll find it. So if I do that, I'm in the secret stuff directory. Let's hop back up to my home directory. Now, there's another way of of issuing paths, and that's absolute paths. This is these are the kind that are printed out by PWD. So now that we have a concept of the root directory and the directories that fall under it, we can take advantage of this and use absolute paths to rapidly move around different parts of the file system. For instance, I can get back to the shared documentation of Python by simply issuing the absolute path. So here I'm issuing cd slash user slash share slash doc slash python 2.4 if I ls, you can see that I'm back in the Python documentation folder. And I can use cd tilde to quickly jump back to my home directory. Likewise, we can do the same thing with ls. We can feed absolute paths. And in fact, on uh, every program, you can feed absolute paths of directories. So. Here I've just issued the ls for the Python 2.4 shared uh, documents directory. Um, since we're talking a little bit more once again about navigating around the file system, here's some here are two useful commands for you to quickly hop back and forth. This one is called push d, and what it does is the same thing as as cd. However, it retains the directory that you're currently in in its, in its directory stack. So if I go to user share doc, if I push D, we'll see that it prints out my directory stack. So it knows, it knows I, I came to user share doc from my home directory. Now let's push another directory into here, say uh, var log. So now I'm in the var log directory, confirm this. But it knows that I got to here from user share. And so from here I can go, um, let's see. So let's go to news. So I'm in var log news. And I can change back up. I can go. In fact, I, from here I can go anywhere on the file system, uh, such as, uh, let's see, so now I'm in user lib. So if I issue pop d, this is going to take my directory stack and and bring me back to the to the last to the previous directory that I put into the stack, which should be user shared dot. So we can see here that I've hopped from user lib to user share doc. So it's equivalent to setting bookmarks for your individual directories. And if I issue pop d one more time, I'll return to my home directory. So these are these are two convenience functions. Um, and like I said, it's it's important to note that they're they're the shell can be a very efficient way of doing things on the computer. And this is an excellent example of uh, being able to efficiently maneuver throughout the file system.